Number 148. If the area of circle B is 81 pi and angle ABC is 120 degrees, what is the length of arc AKC? So here's arc AKC. How can we determine the length of it? So what formula do we need? Perhaps you've seen this equation. S, the arc length, is equal to the angle theta times r, where r is the radius of the circle. Now, the angle theta has to be in radians. We have the angle in degrees, so we need to convert it. Multiply 120 degrees by pi over 180, and that should do the trick. So let's cancel a zero. This will give us 12 pi over 18. Now, 12, we can write that as 6 times 2. 18 is 6 times 3. And so we could cancel a 6, giving us the angle theta, 2 pi over 3. So let's replace theta with that. Now, what we're missing at this point is the radius of the circle. How can we calculate that? The answer has to do with area. That is, the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And in this example, the area of circle B is 81 pi. Dividing both sides by pi, we get that 81 is equal to r squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we can see that r is equal to 9. So let's replace r with 9. 2 pi times 9 is 18 pi. And 18 pi divided by 3 is 6 pi. So this is the arc length. That's the measure of arc AKC. It's equal to 6 pi, which means E is the correct answer. Number 149. If the circumference of circle O is 36 pi, what is the length of arc a, R, B. Go ahead and try that problem. Now you can set up a proportion if you want to. So we're trying to find the arc that corresponds to an angle of 40. So let's call this X. The arc that corresponds to an angle of 360, that's the entire circle. That is the circumference, which is 36 pi. So we can set up a proportion. We can say 40 is to x as 360 is to 36 pi. So in order to get x by itself, we're going to multiply both sides by 36 pi. And so the arc length, or the length of arc, a, R, B, rather, that's going to be basically this fraction of the circle, which is 40 degrees over 360 times the circumference itself, which is 36 pi. So let's simplify the fraction 40 over 360. We can cancel a zero, so this becomes 4 over 36. 4 is 4 times 1. 36 is 4 times 9. So this is what we now have. So this portion of the circle is 1 ninth of the entire circle. So thus this arc should be, let me use a different color, arc ARB should be 1 ninth of the circumference of the circle. So it's 1 ninth of 36 pi. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So the answer is 4 pi. Therefore C is the correct answer. 150. The measure of angle ABC is 150 in circle B and AB is 12. What is the area of the shader region rounded to the nearest tenth? So we need to find the area of that portion of the circle. Now we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now to find the area of a fractional portion of the circle, it's going to be pi r squared times the angle that is associated with the shaded region divided by the angle for the entire circle, which is 360. Now, in this formula, theta has to be in degrees. 
because 360 is in degrees. If theta is in radians, then needs to divide it by 2 pi. 2 pi is equal to 360. So if theta is in degrees, divided by 360. If it's in radians, divided by 2 pi. So those are the two forms of this formula that you can use to calculate the fractional area of a circle. So theta is 150, and r, the radius of the circle, is 12. So let's begin by canceling a 0. So we have 15 over 36. I'm going to write 15 as 5 times 3, 36 as 12 times 3, and 12 squared as 12 times 12. So we can cancel a 12, and we can cancel a 3. So we're left with 5 times 12 times pi. 5 times 12 is 60, so we get 60 pi. Now, if you type in 60 pi into your calculator, you should get 188.495, but I'm going to round that to 0.5. So this is our rounded answer, 188.5 square units. That is the area of the shaded region.